In 2011, Africa was introduced to a magnificent gathering that has grown like the continent itself. The All Africa Business Leader Awards, known as the ABLA, now begins its journey in South Africa. South Africa, the host to the Southern African Regional Leg of the 2017 All Africa Business Leader Awards in partnership with CNBC Africa. The time has come to write an astonishing 2017 chapter, revealing game changers and business pioneers in the region. Marking the seventh anniversary of leadership, victory, and bold achievements in the region. Welcome to the All Africa Business Leader Awards, Southern Africa. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Southern African Ceremony of the 2017 All Africa Business Leader Awards in partnership with CNBC Africa. My name is Alexander Leipn, and it's my pleasure to host this, the seventh annual ABLA, and celebrate business excellence on the continent, and specifically tonight in Southern Africa. I'd like to welcome our managing director for the ABN Group, Mrs. Roberta Nyker. I'd also like to welcome the executive director of the ABN Group, Mrs. Bronwyn Nielsen. Uh, welcome to our Southern Africa Judging Committee for 2017. Welcome Cesar Mbouli of the IDC. Uh, ABLA finalists, previous ABLA winners that I've seen in the room tonight, welcome to you as well. Members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the first of four regional ceremonies that make up the 2017 ABLA season. Regional winners move on to vie for the ultimate title of the All Africa winner in their respective uh, category at the Black Tie All Africa Business Leader Awards finale in Johannesburg on November 30th, where the ultimate catalysts of African business are named and commended for their part in the continent's progress. Tonight, we celebrate those Southern African business leaders who have made a distinguishing contribution in their particular sectors by demonstrating accountability, best practice, integrity, and innovation. We are gathered here on this meaningful occasion to salute the pioneers and change makers in the Southern African business community. And be sure to share your experience tonight on social media using the hashtag Hashtag ABLA 2017. We want to make sure that we are trending tonight across the continent. So the ABLA are proud to once again be telling Africa's growth story tonight, joined by our long-standing uh, media partners CNBC Africa and Forbes Africa, which make up Africa Business News. This year, we also celebrate an important anniversary as CNBC Africa celebrates 10 years of showcasing the African economic story. And I think that deserves a big round of applause. So this year, the ABLA marks seven years of bringing together business giants across the continent, and everyone nominated tonight joins the ABLA alumni of torchbearers of African business. Let's take a moment and look back at last year's Southern Africa winners of the All Africa Business Leader Awards presented by CNBC Africa. Seven years of leadership. Leadership is about giving people hope, uh, about giving people vision. Seven years of victory. Nothing gives me as much pride. Seven years of recognizing the continent's greatest business minds. I'm proud of being South African. And celebrating their bold achievements. The reward 
for being an entrepreneur is, is really the passion that you give. Africa's leading business award returns. Hosted in East, West and Southern Africa. This is a remarkable place. The time has come again. All Africa Business Leader Awards. The seventh annual All Africa Business Leaders Awards in partnership with CNBC Africa. Just charge your glass to toast our winners this evening whose valiant attitudes and ideas brought to life have built the organizations and communities we see today who with every action have written the names in the registry of history, captured the hearts and minds of the present and inspired future generations. It is now my great pleasure to introduce one of the drivers behind the All Africa Business Leader Awards and uh, please help me welcome on stage the Managing Director of the ABN Group, Mrs. Roberta Nyker, to officially open tonight's proceedings. Honoured nominees, esteemed judges, captains of industry, valued sponsors, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight, on behalf of the founder of the ABN Group, Mr. Rakesh Wahi, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the 2017 All Africa Business Leader Awards for Southern Africa. Now in its seventh year, the awards in partnership with CNBC Africa seeks to recognize the very best of business leadership across the continent with three regional awards culminating into the grand finale in November at the Santon Convention Center. 2017 saw CNBC Africa enter its 10th year of operation. When CNBC Africa was born, the Pan-African business agenda was either deemed inopportune or not fully understood. Much of the continent had high hopes and aspirations, but the business story was yet to be given a platform in the following years, CNBC Africa's aspirations were often challenged by economic decline and political instability, but our hope never died. We had a, a team of men and wom women of goodwill and resilience who were determined to prevail. We shared one goal and one vision. We wanted to build Africa's leading media conglomerate. So how did we go about doing that? We set out to produce nine hours of live, locally produced daily content from the African continent, which feeds into a huge global network. Basically, to put this into perspective, this is more African business content than any other African network produces on a daily basis. But it hasn't always been plain sailing. Shortly after we launched in 2007, the 2008 global financial crisis rocked the world. Today, both Nigeria and South Africa are facing challenging economic environments. But they say all great entrepreneurs have to have the nerves of steel, and this is certainly applicable to entrepreneurs operating in emerging markets. Tonight is about celebrating these entrepreneurs and their great leadership. When one looks at the characteristics that is associated with leadership, such as vision, confidence, and determination, we all agree that these are often characteristics required for success. <clears throat> Coupled with this, one also believes that truly effective leaders are distinguished by a high degree of emotional intelligence, which includes self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. An entrepreneur and leader also has unwavering belief in their vision and the ability to calmly manage through some of the toughest economic conditions. And this is the reason we find ourselves here tonight celebrating the very best in business. These awards are a tribute to those captains of industry who have made a qualitative and a quantitative difference to the companies, industries, and communities that they serve. These captains are ordinary men and women that have taken extraordinary decisions in the face of challenges, adversity, as well as opportunities to bring glory to the organizations and to the people that they lead. These awards are to celebrate their success stories. As leaders, we all recognize that we could not achieve success 
without our great teams. The best of the best that we believe have been chosen to be part of our journeys. I would like to dedicate these awards to the thousands of people that stand behind these leaders, working together day after day, making sure that they achieve their goals despite all of the challenges. The glory truly belongs to them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take the opportunity to thank the judging pan panel. Thank you for your valuable time and for the rigorous and fair manner in which you have tackled the judging process. I would also like to say a special thank you to our sponsors tonight, our audit and research partners who have shared our vision and have supported these awards over the years. The success of the Ablers is through your continued participation. As we move into the heart of the awards, I would like to, on behalf of the ABN Group, congratulate all the finalists with us this evening, and I wish you all the very best of luck as the night unfolds. Thank you. And at this point, I want to take a moment to uh, thank a very big component of this award, which is the judging panel, which was headed up by uh, Chris Bishop uh, this year. And uh, they've spent tremendous hours selecting and debating tonight's winners. Uh, we thank you all for your contribution. And let's just take a moment to look back at the process that uh, the judges went through this year. The journey to award the All Africa Business Leader Awards Southern African winners is a lengthy, rewarding task for the judges selected to oversee the process. Nominees are adjudicated against strenuous criteria to ensure that Africa's finest entrepreneurs, innovators and business leaders are selected. The 2017 All Africa Business Leader Awards Southern Africa is made possible by an esteemed panel of judges. Chris Bishop, head judge and editor of Forbes Africa magazine. Well, uh, I have to um, oversee the discussions that go towards the, the signing of the Adler Award winner. Kate Moodley, franchise director at Discovery. A really good judging panel incorporates a diversification of experience. Kaz Kavadia. Managing Director at the Banking Association, South Africa. We understand each other. We understand each other with what we each bring to the panel. And we are able to at least develop a common hymn sheet. Kanyisi Lekweyama, Chairperson of the Board for Brand South Africa. We have to gel as a group because, you know, you're faced with 10 people or 10 companies to decide, and then there has to be some thinking. Jonathan Foster Pedley, Dean and Director at Henley Business School. I think what makes a good judge, judging panel is three things. The first is they need to be fair. The second thing, they've got to be informed and diverse. The third thing is I think they should argue. Professor Lumkile Wiseman Kulu, Chancellor of the University of Pretoria. A good judging panel should uh, be balanced in terms of backgrounds. They must also be people who have been uh, in the environment, who know the environment very well. Russell Loebscher, non-executive director, straight. It's got to be a combination. Uh, uh, I think it would be bad if all the judges think the same way. Thank you to the Abla 2017 judges and partners Grant Thornton and Henley Business School Africa. So ladies and gentlemen, that is our revered judging panel for 2017. And uh, we're gathered here tonight to applaud Southern Africa's business leaders who have displayed boldness and rare character over a significant period of time. And at this point, let me commend all our finalists for having made it this far, and we are eagerly awaiting the announcement of the winners in each celebrated category. So to kick off with the first category, it's the 2017 Young Business Leader of the Year presented by Lancaster University, Ghana. And this award recognizes professionals under the age of 40 who have not only reached a significant level of success in their careers, but are also making a difference in the community through their work. The finalists for the 2017 Young Business Leader of the Year, Southern Africa. 
Laduma Gotolo, founder Matosa by Laduma. Zibusiso Mkwanaz, CEO, Avatar Agency. Knight Ganji, founder and managing director, h and Advertising. Sylvester Chauke, founder and chief architect, DNA Brand Architects. Jenna Mukina Ntumba, founder and CEO, Little Ashford Preschool. And the award for Young Business Leader of the Year goes to Sylvester Chauke. Sylvester Chauke is an award-winning entrepreneur. As founder and chief architect of DNA Brand Architects, he sits on the advisory council for World Economic Forum Global Shapers, amongst many other achievements. Having moved up the corporate ranks, Chauke founded the marketing and brand consultancy agency five years ago and has since built up a portfolio of blue chip clients spearheading the expansion of brands into the continent. What drives me is the ability to make a huge difference um, on the continent in being able to be part of a narrative of a new crop of leaders who are bold, unafraid on the African continent. I'm so thrilled to be here tonight amongst leadership excellence and look around the room today. There's so many of you who inspire me and who inspire what, what we do as young leaders on the continent. Firstly, congratulations to my fellow nominees, some of whom are such an inspiration to me and to many of us actually, um, and to us as a business as well. Major thanks to CNBC Africa and all our associated sponsors for seeing the need to showcase African entrepreneurs and businesses as key catalysts for African business excellence. This is the second time that um, we enter the Ablas. Our first interaction was in 2015 and we did not win. However, we walked away with so much more. We were incredibly inspired to be amongst fine leaders who have built incredible businesses on the African continent. Our story as DNA Brain Architects is a simple one, to cascade a spirit of performance at a level that inspires millions and changes how business is done on the African continent. From how we work with our people, our governance, our principles and policies as a business, our participation in our communities, and the impact that we create as young entrepreneurs. As a business that plays within the space of brands and communication, it is our mission and dream to be able to realize that there is a huge need for us to shine African brands across the globe. So this award represents a huge sense of pride to me to be counted amongst those fine entrepreneurs, and I see Jill is here also, a previous winner, and all those nominated tonight. I may be alone accepting this award at this very moment, but I stand here representing the team of DNA All-Stars who wake up every day to help us get closer to the dream. And on their behalf, and from my deepest place, I thank you. As Estee Lauder once uh, rightfully said, I never dreamed about success, I worked for it. This is the spirit that makes the 2017 Businesswoman of the Year Southern Africa. The finalists for the 2017 Businesswoman of the Year Southern Africa. Carol Weaving, Managing Director, Reed Exhibitions. Yolisa Pache, CEO, Mnet. Joanna Mukoki, Group CEO, Travel with Flair Group. And the Businesswoman of the Year is Yolisa Pali, the CEO of Mnet.
Yolisa Patli was appointed Mnet CEO in October 2015. In this role, she was instrumental in driving Mnet's local content strategy by launching many successful local channels, including Mzanzi Magic, which has since revolutionized the South African television landscape, winning praise for its compelling and relevant content lineup. She was appointed as Mnet SA CEO in 2013, before taking over the reins for the Mnet business across the African continent in October 2015, to oversee Mnet's vision of becoming the leading African storyteller. In my current role, I am extremely motivated by the infinite opportunities, the, I guess, overwhelming um, talent that we have in Africa. We provide opportunities for the best actors and the best producers in South Africa and the best musicians in Africa to um, build their careers, you know, and have opportunities both at home and internationally. Good evening, everybody. As you can tell, I'm not your Lisa, but this is what she wanted me to tell you. <laughs> she said, firstly, thank you so very much for this prestigious award. I would have loved to be here this evening. I have been fortunate to spend much of my working career involved in African storytelling and celebrating African talent. Along the way, it has become very evident to me that is, it is only together as a community of like-minded, focused African leaders that we can continue to build an African legacy. I would like to express my gratitude to CNBC Africa for the generosity and their vision in instituting and growing these awards. I think I can speak safely for many here when I say that this acknowledgement it's not just for our individual efforts, but to send a message back to the teams that we represent that their work is valued and valuable. Finally, to any young woman looking to shape the world and the worlds of those around, let me say this. Your power lies in your ideas, your perspectives, your passions. Take every moment sorry, to speak out and stand tall. And I promise that I will keep opening doors whenever I have the chance to empower you. I hope everyone in this room will do the same. Thank you, and I wish you a very good evening. Congratulations, and uh, I'm sure you'll be sharing that on social media, and uh, Elisa will be finding out all about it. So we're moving on to our next category, and in the spirit of continued innovation and growth on the continent, Innovator of the Year shines a light on companies who have created new products, services, or programs that have had a positive effect on their business, industry, or the community. Innovators make the ordinary extraordinary. They make the impossible possible. And to announce and hand over the award for the 2017 Innovator of the Year, Southern Africa, please join us on stage, Kudzai Jangarara from the ABN Group. And let's take a look at the finalists in this category. The finalists for the 2017 Innovator of the Year, Southern Africa. Vinny Lingham, co-founder and CEO, Civic. William Mapper, founder, Vula Mobile. James Steer, co-founder, I Drop Water. Sibella Not Craig, founder, Xander App. And the winner of Innovator of the Year 2017, Mr. James Deere. Founded by husband and wife team James Steer and Kate Tears Steer, iDrop installs innovative purification and dispensing units at point of sale. 
The purification system combines three sophisticated technologies, namely nano mesh water filters, GSM Internet of Things, and solar power. Shoppers refill water containers, which means the plastic waste is reduced and up to 80% cheaper than bottled water, making it accessible to people who need it the most. Revenue is split with the grocery stores. For every dollar made, a shop owner makes the same. The water supply comes at little to no cost to retailers, and Eyedrop monitors the units remotely to keep maintenance costs low. Congratulations. This is the most extraordinary honor, and I've got to concede to being hopelessly unprepared compared to the previous speakers. Um, we're a small business. Uh, we started a few years ago, and my wife, Kate, and I, uh, it feels like we haven't stopped working since, but the huge reward in, in starting an entrepreneurial venture, particularly one that provides real purpose uh, beyond ourselves, this is a business with a huge um, social impact uh, objective and priority. Um, so this recognition is really meaningful because of it, it allows us an opportunity to really take stock and be very proud of what we've achieved. Um, but I've got to say two quick things. First of all, we're particularly proud of the idea that our innovation is not just in the technology we use, but in the business model we have, we have applied and, and sort of founded and created. Um, and that's an interesting idea, that, that innovation is embedded in business and in entrepreneurship. We do things very differently. The second thing I've got to say is that, um, very proudly, I am a man who works for my wife. Uh, my wife is, is the heart and soul of our business and the brains and looks of the operations. So, uh, you know, without her, this is a really good idea. And with her, it's a growing and a powerful business. So, to Kate, uh, congratulations. This is amazing. I just want to say thank you so much, everyone. This is amazing. Thank you. On to our next category, and that's the Southern African Industrialist of the Year, presented by the IDZ, IDC. And um, this represents a business that has participated in beneficiation of raw material, manufacturing, and or enriching infrastructure. There's no doubt that this category is an employment creator, an economic contributor, and forms a cornerstone for the future of African business. As a crucial sector in Africa's development, let's take a look at this message from our sponsor. IDC is a development finance institution, so what we do is we fund projects, we fund companies that have come to us for funding, either to expand their businesses or to start new ones, or individuals or entrepreneurs that do that, both in South Africa and the rest of the African continent. 
IDC has chosen to sponsor the industrialist category because we want to recognize those industrialists who have seen opportunities, who have taken that risk. The winner of the category industrialist will exemplify somebody who, when other people see problems, he sees opportunities. Let's take a look at the finalists for this category. The finalists for the 2017 Industrialist of the Year, Southern Africa. General Mtembu, founder, Mtembu Tissue Converting. Kevin Keaston, founder, Saks Packaging. Ntla Ntla Dlamini, founder, Maneli Pets. Paseka Lesolang, Managing Director, Water Hygiene Convenience. The winner for the 2017 All African Business Leader Awards, Industrialist of the Year, presented by the IDC, is General Ntembo. Distinguished guests, uh, we are down to the final five awards for the evening, as the following nominees know all too well. Perseverance pays, and these richly talented entrepreneurs nominated tonight are none of them overnight successes. They are all seasoned business people who've had an instinct for an opportunity and business. They've risked their own reputation, time, and money to make their vision a reality. And in this category, the nominee will have displayed exceptional vision and leadership in building a company from the ground up. The finalists for the 2017 Entrepreneur of the Year, Southern Africa. Tepo Mashoele, CEO, Harith General Partners. Ivan and Lynette Saltzman, founders, Dischem Pharmacies. Margaret Hirsch, co-founder, Hirsch's Home Stores. The 2017 All Africa Business Leader Awards Entrepreneur of the Year, Ivan and Lynette Saltzman, founders Dischem Pharmacies. Dischem is South Africa's second biggest retail chain of chemists by number of stores and specializes in beauty, health and health food, sports supplements and well-being, in addition to pharmaceutical products. Founded in 1978, with as little as 10,000 Rand capital investment, Ivan and Lynette Saltzman opened their first pharmacy in the south of Johannesburg. Over 30 years later, this empire has grown to over 100 stores with over 15 billion rand in turnover and listed on the JSC in 2016. When we went from store one to two stores, you could say that it was double or quits. When the two stores were doing well, we had confidence to branch out of um, Johannesburg and Pretoria and we went national. We continue our phenomenal journey of building and growing Diskim as a world-class business which employs over 13,000 people and also doing the work of the foundation which helps and provides relief for individuals and organizations Members of the award Panel, friends, family, sponsors, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Thank you for this award. It is very special. The, the Diskin story for, for Lynette and I can be classified as a true entrepreneurial journey. We started at a young age dreaming, dreaming of owning our, our first store, which became a real... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm, 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 I'm. both of us tonight have turned out. <laughs> our voices. We, 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 we'd have to go to a pharmacy and get some. <laughs> um, we started at a young age dreaming of owning our first store, which became a reality in 1978. This has today grown into an entity worth some 25 billion on, on the Jay Z. 
with nearly 130 stores, three of which actually opened this morning. The Diskim story is now gaining momentum. One of the reasons we recently listed was to position ourselves for our next phase of growth. Uh, watch the space. Um, <laughs> this growth will continue to be in South Africa, but also internationally, in areas mainly in the SADC countries. There is no doubt that our best years are still lie ahead of us. One of the many lessons we have learned from our journey, which should be heeded by all businesses, is that you must continue innovating. It's different for all business, but we didn't follow any management or leadership type textbooks or theory to build up the scheme. Just instinctive innovation and market disruption. We did, however, listen very closely to our customers and partners along the way. We built and developed the scheme by carefully considering what products and services the customers wanted, what they were prepared to pay, how they wanted to shop, and adapted to an ever-changing environment. This, more than anything, has been the key to our success. I say Lynette and I, but believe me, we did not do this ourselves. We have many people to thank. Our family for their patience and understanding through the years, and the entire Diskim's team, and of course our customers. Without your contributions, I think a lot of you might be our customers, we could definitely not have achieved our dream. Thank you from both Lynette and I. In closing, a special word of thanks to the sponsors and organisers of this award. South Africa is in dire need of more entrepreneurs to start business and to create as many jobs as possible. At this camp, we believe the two areas of significant need in the country is an improved education system and the creation of work for the millions currently unemployed. Awards of this nature create the awareness needed to inspire people to follow the same journey that Lynette and I have taken. If more and more people can achieve this, confidence and trust is built and we can extend the benefits of tomorrow's world to more and more of our people in South Africa. Diablo has always been about recognizing leadership uh, on the continent, not only for the part that it plays in growing economies, but also for what it gives back and leaves as a legacy. So the 2017 Philanthropist of the Academy completes the ABLA lineup and the ABLA cycle. So this award is chosen by our esteemed panel of judges. And Bronwyn, please, can you do the honors? Twenty seventeen All Africa Business Leader Awards Philanthropist of the Year is Yanni Mouton, founder and chairman of the PSG Group. One of South Africa's greatest success stories, Yanni Mutan built his business from scratch after getting fired at the age of 48. I was born in Carnarvon and I went to school there from sub A up to standard 10. And even today it's a miracle that I can talk to you in English. <laughs> Mutan went on to establish the PSG Group, one of South Africa's most successful investment companies. With interests in financial services, banking, private equity, agriculture and education. Today, these companies have a market capitalization of an estimated 61 billion rand. In 2016, Mutan donated 50 million rand to the University of Stellenbosch. Having been inspired by Warren Buffett's approach to philanthropy, Mutan further donated 82 million rand in PSG Group shares to charity.
I thank you. They actually asked me not to say too much because my English aren't that good. <laughs> and uh, yes, Warren Buffett inspired me. Uh, in April this year, I had a look. My wife actually taped it for me, an interview with him. And they all asked him all sorts of financial questions and he could answer everything. He's one of my heroes in life. I mean, they asked him about philanthropy, that's the word, eh? A big smile was on his face and I could see he was happy. And the next day I was walking on the farm and I realized this is what I want to do. Now, okay, you can't do it from day one. Some of my shares are with the banks for security and things like that. It's a complicated business, but I have started by donating uh, more than a billion rand and it's going to follow this up. Half of my... Uh, I, you won't remember the name, it's, because it's an Afrikaans name, it's the Animaton Stichting. And uh, I spoke to my wife and my kids, Deirdre is here, that they understand, because I'm actually taking their money that they would have inherited and use it in a different way. So I had to get their permission as well. They were all four of them were very, very enthusiastic about that. They support me 100%. And uh, yes, I'm arranging my bank stories to get, because at the end of the day, I want to increase that times six. And uh, that's my plan. I put it, say it in public, because that's what my intention is so that I also can have a smile on my face if I'm 86 years old like Warren Buffett. Thank you very much. One, one fantastic story after another. I mean, I think it's a, a really feel-good evening. And uh, I hope that one day I can also donate a billion rand to something good. Mr. Matar, uh, hats off. Congratulations. The ABLA has always been about recognizing leadership uh, on the continent in this category as well, and the judges looked at overall company achievement and excellence. They also looked at the company's successes. Does the company achieve notable growth? Has it introduced product innovation? Does it thrive off a supportive employee culture focused on customer service? And has it demonstrated overall company excellence? Finalists for the 2017 Company of the Year, Southern Africa. Capitec Bank Holdings Limited. Blue Label Telecoms Limited. Transaction Capital Limited. Telcom SASOC Limited. And the winner is for the company of the year, and I can pull it out, it's Capitec Bank Holdings Limited. Capitec Bank has doubled its customer numbers over the past five years and quadrupled in market value, offering a single, no-frills bank account with low fees, among other disruptive products, taking on the traditional big four South African banks. The Stellenbosch-based bank, which launched in 2001, has over 9 million customers and opened its 800th branch in 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Faree was unable to uh, join us this evening, but please can I call up Cass Kuvadia, Managing Director of the Banking Association of South Africa, an ABLA 2017 judge, to accept this award on his behalf. So, previous winners of our next category include such notable names as Johan van Zeil, Asher Bobot, Michael Jordan, Adrian Gore, and tonight we add another distinguished name to this impressive list. The 
finalist for the 2017 Business Leader of the Year, Southern Africa. Jabulani Mabuza, Chairman, Telcom SA. Khalid Abdullah, Group CEO, African Equity Empowerment Investments. Khari Furi, CEO, Capitec Bank Holdings. And the winner in the category, the 2017 All Africa Business Leader Awards, Business Leader of the Year, is Mr. Khalid Abdullah, Group CEO, Africa Equity Empowerment Investments. Khalid Abdullah is the Group Chief Executive Officer of African Equity Empowerment Investments Limited and has been with the AEEI Group since 1999. He has numerous business awards and directorships to his name and has been identified as one of the best CEOs in South Africa. AEEI has demonstrated continued and consistent financial growth over the past three years under Abdullah's leadership. A good leader is, is someone who understands people, I think someone who is prepared to work as a team, who, someone who stands in front when he needs to, to take the punches, but someone who's, who's prepared to, to understand where people come from different perspectives, and someone who's prepared to motivate and put in the hard work as well. I'm very humbled with this. I came in here and um, I see esteemed uh, business people like Yanni Mutan. Uh, the Saltzman, I even last week still said to myself, when I grow up, I want to be a shark, and I see all of the sharks are here. Eh? <laughs> but I guess, you know, being, being a leader or being recognized as a leader, obviously, I don't see myself as a leader because I see myself as a team player, and I think most businesses succeed because there's a team. Um, yes, there's somebody that must take the punches sometimes, and somebody has got to lead, um, but, you know, if you know that you've got a good team, you can count on the person on your left, on your right, at the back and in front. I think that's, that's what it's all about. And you only shine as a leader if you've got the right people around you. So I'd like to firstly thank, obviously, the judges, and there's an esteemed bunch of judges here. I'd like to thank everybody at AEI, the board of directors, uh, especially the shareholders for entrusting me with their business. The sponsors, obviously, which is quite key, and clearly my family, my wife, my kids, I think they're also they're in support. In fact, I think uh, you know, all the sacrifices that, that we go through. Uh, overall, I think you know, for us, it's all about mentoring. I think it's, it's building the next generation of, of, of younger leaders. So my key objective is to bring the middle managers through to become uh, um, apt in the boardrooms and be able to understand what's happening. And, and business is generally quite tough, but I think overall, you've got you to make them tough. Sometimes the industry is up and sometimes down. But it's the down times that you'll be able to, to, your integrity get questioned and you've got to stand up there and, and make the right decisions. So I think overall, as I said again, thanks for the award, but you know, this award actually belongs to the whole of AEI, as well as all the employees there as well. So thank you very much. So ladies and gentlemen, our ultimate award pays tribute to those who have made a remarkable impact on their industry and country over a period of a lifetime. The All Africa Business Leader Awards judges identified a leader from Southern Africa with exceptional character. This bold and celebrated individual who has contributed to business growth, innovation and development, creating the highest quality product and services over a lifetime. Roberto, the stage is yours to announce this rare accolade. And uh, of course, we're talking about uh, the notable winner of the Lifetime Achievement Award, Southern Africa. And the winner, the 2017 All Africa Business Leader Awards Lifetime Achievement Award is Dr. Samuel Matsunyane, founder, Dr. Samuel Matsunyane, Rural Development Foundation. Dr. Sam Motswanyane, a champion of black business, is unquestionably one of South Africa's best known and most successful entrepreneurs. 
with an interest in almost every major business sector of the country's economy. A son of farm workers, Motswenyane was born on the 11th of February 1927 in Potchefstroom, South Africa. And his journey as an entrepreneur started during the difficult days of apartheid South Africa. Motswenyane is the founding chairman of African Bank and was president of the National African Federate Chamber of Commerce for more than 24 years. The Dr. Sam Motswenyane Rural Development Foundation is an initiative created to remember and preserve the legacy of Dr. Sam Motswenyane of serving South Africans with commitment and distinction in his lifetime. I would like to, to pay tribute to the leaders of Africa who are responsible for the word that I am and others are receiving today. I think that for the future, Africa needs to put a great deal of focus on eco economic development. That is where we need to put a lot of focus in order to be able to overcome the problems of unemployment and poverty which are found all over our countries. And we should not expect that this great job to develop our economies will be done for us by people coming from elsewhere. We ourselves ought to take the lead in developing our economies and uh, this is what I would encourage our young people in South Africa and all over Africa to give attention to. I can say now in accepting humbly the word that is presented to me, I feel very grateful for being recognized as one of the recipients of the Lifetime Achievement Award today. I'm thankful. Can I call upon Moss Mashishi to accept this award on Dr. Mutsui and his behalf? Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the winners of the Southern African leg of the 2017 All Africa Business Leader Awards. It also gives me great pleasure to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of the awards uh, in partnership with CNBC Africa. So I'd like to extend a tremendous thank you to all the nominees and, of course, the winners. Thank you to our judges for their search for Southern Africa's best, to our sponsors who have reached out across the continent, the IDC, for supporting the ABLA for another year, from Ghana, Lancaster University, Ghana, and Transnational Education, who were recognizing young talent in South and Southern Africa, and to our partners, Grant Thornton, Henley Business School, Forbes Africa, Africa Independent Newspapers, TSCH, Bonisa, Move, Fashion Scoop, and Tailor Me, we extend a sincere thank you, and last but no means least, the remarkable teams we have the privilege of working with in making tonight possible, and I say, well done to all of you. And that brings to an end our proceedings for this evening. I have no doubt this marks the start uh, of a night of celebration. So from myself, Alexander Leipner, it's thank you and good night, South Africa.